Now, after the Taliban called for President Ashraf Ghani's removal and insisted that there won't be peace in Afghanistan until there is a new negotiated government, the United States has called on the Taliban to engage in serious negotiations. This as U.S. President Joe Biden continues to support the leadership of the Afghan people, including Ashraf Ghani. The Taliban have swiftly captured territory in recent weeks and are threatening a number of provincial capitals. A day after Taliban spokesperson Suhail Shaheen laid out the terrorist group's stance on what should come next in Afghanistan, U.S. has called on the Taliban to engage in serious negotiations to determine a political roadmap for Afghanistan future. The Talmud ban must go beyond issuing statements denying territorial offenses and targeted attacks. If this is truly not Taliban policy, their leadership should condemn these atrocities and violations of basic rights. They must proactively prevent their forces from carrying out these actions on the ground. We continue to call for an immediate end to ongoing violence, which is largely driven by the Taliban. We call on the Taliban to engage in serious nego negotiations to determine a political roadmap for Afghanistan's future that leads to a just and durable settlement. A negotiated settlement between the Islamic Republic and the Taliban is the only way to end 40 years of war and bring Afghans the peace that they seek and deserve. The world will not accept the imposition by force of a government in Afghanistan. Legitimacy and assistance for any Afghan government can only be possible if that government has a basic right, basic respect, excuse me, for human rights. During a phone conversation with his Afghan counterpart, Ashraf Ghani, the U.S. president affirmed continued military support to Kabul. Afghan lawmakers have asked the United States to finalize assistance ahead of a troop withdrawal. The lawmakers have voiced alarm that their air air force was uh, depleted in the face of a Taliban offensive. An Afghan delegation has also appealed for quick action on aircraft maintenance and munitions uh, supplies. As um, U.S. prepares to end military presence by the end of next month, during a full conversation, um, like I said, with uh, the Afghan lawmakers have asked the United States to finalize uh, that assistance. The lawmakers have voiced alarm that their air, air force uh, was depleted in the face of a Taliban offensive. The delegation has also appealed for quick action on aircraft maintenance and munitions supplies as U.S. prepares to now end military presence by the end of next month. U.S. has authorized 100 million U.S. dollars to address migration uh, emergencies in Afghanistan. The funds will support those applying to the State Department program of special immigrant visas. Some 20,000 Afghans who worked as interpreters have applied for evacuation. In the face of rising Taliban control, Afghanistan's national security advisor and state minister for peace called on former Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif in London. The two sides discussed regional security and stability and even agreed policy of mutual respect and non-interference in each other's internal affairs would benefit both sides. The uh, Afghan the government no, has repeatedly Obama. accused Pakistan of supporting the Taliban and preventing the Afghan forces from carrying out military operations against them. The ties between the two sides have further deteriorated since the daughter of the Afghan ambassador to Pakistan was briefly kidnapped in Islamabad on July the 16th. Thereafter, Kabul recalled its ambassador from Islamabad demanding punishment for those responsible.